Hi guys, how's it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look at what is blocking your manifestation. I don't know if you're like quite familiar with the manifestation or if you like to do those kind of things, if you like to just focus on those kind of things, but sometimes you feel like something is off. Something is not going quite well, like there's something going on. And I would like to do this reading with another technique that I learned years ago. You know that I'm not using reversals because I wanted to challenge myself. But in this reading, we are going to focus on the all reversals to see what is the problem. Let me prepare everything and I will come back. So now, first thing that we are going to do is just focus on one single tarot card and then we are going to focus on what is going to happen later on i did not want to just pick all the cards beforehand because it might change it might be a little different because this reading this technique is requiring a little bit of like flexibility and this is why i did not want to pick so many cards at the same time this is number one number two and number three pick one and let's start hi guys how's it going if you pick the number one Let's see what is the blockage on your manifestation. Okay, simply not the opportunity. Something is not really going quite well, but it is not about you. It is not like up to you, but it is to something else. You know what? I am expecting all cards like this because most of the time, even though we expect quite a lot and we think that things are going to happen quite well in our lives, Sometimes manifestation doesn't happen because there's not such a good offer. There's no such good possibility to do something about it. So that's why we feel like, why it is not happening? It's because the opportunity didn't present itself to you yet. Nothing is wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with your wish. Nothing is wrong with your expectation about the life or whatever it is. You just simply didn't came across with the right kind of an opportunity yet. Now, this card is also talking about that maybe this opportunity cannot arrive to you because you don't have enough of communication ways. It could be about like friends and family. How many people you are talking these days? How many people that you are just dealing with in the most of the time? Are those kind of people that you would like to gather around or those people are just people who are just like sucking your energy what kind of people they are what kind of people that you're talking to if the people that you're talking to are like not really that positive or you people who are just like benefiting off of you it means that maybe you have to change it a little bit it also talks about that you have to keep an open mind and we are going to talk about it later on but i have a feeling like you have to just have more opportunity for example if you're just focusing on one single thing maybe that is the problem if you're just like for example if you're just focusing on jobs if you're focusing on money and if you're just focusing on one single opportunity and it is not happening it could just create a lot of blockages later on but if you have like this open mind if you just apply to i don't know like five different jobs or if you keep an open mind and seek for different kind of type of a job those kind of things might help you quite a lot so just don't focus on one thing and one thing only try to have an open mind when it comes to opportunities or just the applications or talking points something like that if it is like a love related situation now i have to add something more even though we love people with our hearts our eyes are the ones who are seeing us. So this card talks about a little bit of like physical looks. And if it is like in reverse, it means that maybe the person that you like doesn't find you that attractive yet. What I'm saying yet, we are going to look at other cards, but this person doesn't know you that well. That's what I'm trying to say. This person is just like looking at you and seeing a physical being, but doesn't understand what kind of a person you are. Okay. Let's see what it could be about. Let's see all the reversals. Knight of Wands in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Now that is talking quite a lot. A lot! Now I can see who is draining your energy. Okay, now 
cards are just talking quite a lot about what I was saying. If you're just focusing on one thing and one thing only, then it is not going to work out. You have to just diverse your ways when it when it comes to manifestation of your thing. If you're just manifesting some kind of a money or a job, especially, you just have to focus on different things at the same time. You have to be a little bit more multitasking. You have to be open to different kind of communications, different type of work that you have to focus on. But if you just like focus on one thing, it's not going to happen. I have to tell you that sometimes multitasking is just really good way to diverse and just ease your mind when it comes to work and expectation. For example, for me, when I am just focusing on side hustles, my main hustle flows or vice versa. Somehow they just balance themselves out. So you need that kind of a balance. So if you're just focused on one thing, you have to diverse it a little. Now, for argument's sake, let's say that you are doing everything that you can, but you are not really supported by the family. It could, it could be a reason that why your manifestation is not happening. And if you're focusing on why they are doing this, and if you're having this argument in your mind over and over why your family is doing this, why your family is acting like this, why your mom is saying that, why your dad is saying that, why your siblings are being just a bit I don't know anything it could be the reason why your manifestation is a little slowed down it's about the people it's about the opportunities it's about like you are focusing on one opportunity and just expecting it to happen and it is not happening and you feel upset about it so if you just focus on those kind of things you have to be a little bit more careful if you focus on your family you have to focus on the good size, even though it is the hardest thing on the earth, I know. You have to just stop arguing with your people. You have to stop arguing in your mind. You have to stop arguing with your own luck and your own opportunities. You have to stop finding an enemy in your inner circle. Those people might be really against what you would like to do. And you feel like, no. No matter what they say, I'm going to do whatever I want. This is a noble thing. But there are other ways to do it without creating new enemies in every corner. And I know it is difficult. I know it is so difficult. But you can do this because if you're expecting good things from life, if you're expecting good manifestation process, you have to create a peaceful environment for yourself. No one else but you. For no one else but yourself, okay? Don't just focus on the negativity of others. Try to focus on different opportunities as much as possible. And I am going to say this. I wasn't going to say until this point. But I think I have to because this message is not going away. If you are just like focusing on one person when it comes to love. And if you just expect good things from this person and it doesn't happen... If you feel like, why this person doesn't like me? Why this person is not making me happy? Is the reason that because there are other people who are going to make you happy. When it comes to love, you have to focus on the happiness instead of people. If you expect happiness from one person and if that person is not making you happy in any kind, then you have to stop expecting from that person and you have to open yourself to different people. So in love, I have to tell you this, if there's one specific person that you love or you like, you expect from this person, you have to change your attitude and you have to focus on the happiness instead of the person and what they can do. If you focus on happiness, you are going to focus on the different people who can actually bring those kind of happiness to you. So you have to keep an open mind when it comes to those kind of things. All in all, stop trying to fetch happen. It is not going to happen if you just go with like this, <laughs> okay? Try to do something else. You can do so much more than that. You, you are capable of doing so much more than that. That's only for love, I have to say. When it comes to family, when it comes to money, when it comes to opportunities, you have to create yourself a peaceful environment and stop arguing with those people and why they are doing those kind of things. You have to just focus on yourself. You have to be multitasking and you have to open your heart to more passionate things, I guess. That's what I saw for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. 
That's all I see and I hope to see you in the next reading. Hello number two, how is it going? <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is just cracking now. Hold on a second, let me sip my coffee. Okay, so this is your card, let's see what it is. The lovers in reverse. Okay, when it comes to lovers, I have to tell you that it could be two different things at the same time. It could be actually related to love, it could be really, really about love. Or, you know, the things are not happening in your way. The things are not making you really happy. Love situations are not making you happy. You feel alone. You feel upset. You feel like something is off. Maybe. But it could also mean that the things that you're focusing on right now are the things that are not making you really happy because you don't have any kind of a passion for those kind of things. Lack of passion. Lack of love. Lack of everything that happens to be in a setting that is making the manifestation go quite strong what are you trying to manifest honestly i wonder if it is not really that personal you can write it down but for argument's sake you are not focusing on love and you are focusing on the opportunities and money and those kind of things maybe you are focusing from the wrong angle maybe you are focusing to money to not to provide nice things to you but out of greed for example if you are focusing on work, you are not maybe focusing on what you can actually provide to the world or what you can provide to the work itself, but maybe you are just focusing on the prestige and what people are going to say. Why do you want this thing? You have to make it clear. You have to make it clear to yourself. You have to be honest to yourself to understand why you want to have this thing in your life. If you make it clear, if you just keep it clear as much as possible, then people are going to understand you quite a little bit more. You are going to understand yourself and you are going to be aligned with good kind of things, good opportunities. Now, if it is related to love situation, it could be about like you are focusing on the wrong person maybe. Some people might say that there is no such like wrong person or right person, good kind of a person or bad kind of a person. It is just like how we are focusing on the things and what we are manifesting for ourselves. But no, what I'm trying to say here is that maybe you're focusing on a person who is not going to make you happy because this person is not really able to provide those kind of things to you. And you insist on this person maybe and it is just putting your happiness into a danger if you don't have anyone in your life and if you think that why i'm single why no one is in my life why do you want a boyfriend or a girlfriend do you want to be happy with someone else or do you want to fill a gap in your life why do you want a boyfriend why do you want a lover you have to answer those kind of questions to yourself. You have to be honest. If you are just honest to yourself, then things are going to show itself to you in a better way. Now let's see the other cards before I say something else. By the way, I add the cards that I used at the first pile, except the significator. So we might actually see the same or similar cards. As I said it, okay, Knight of Wands again in reversal. Knight of Wands in reversal is the reason why no one is getting their manifestation, I guess. How strange. But it is also talking about the same thing. Like same, same, but different. I'm gonna explain. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, I see. I see. And I was expecting Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting. One way or another, it was going to show itself. Okay. It talks about me, me, me all over. Like what I can do, what I can provide, what I can expect. And normally, in a good kind of a setting... I want it and I got it is a really good kind of a mental situation. But if we are expecting from the universe itself and we just expect according to on our way, the universe actually might laugh at us and say, haha, good luck with expecting good things for you because it's not going to happen. I'm not saying that you made 
fate or your luck your enemy but you're focusing on the wrong things you're focusing on the wrong situation at the beginning if it is work related situation if it is money related situation which i cannot shake it off because there are cards that are showing it it means that maybe you are trying to do things by yourself or in your way only and you are not accepting other people's thoughts and opinions and how they work for argument's sake you are working with a team and those team members are just like doing the things in another way every important person has a different way of an approach so if you expect that things should happen according to your own way it might be the problem if you're working with a team you have to understand and create harmony with them you shouldn't just criticize them for they are just doing the things in a different kind of a way you have to keep an open mind. This means that you have to keep an open mind and you are not doing that. And it was at the first reading as well. You want things to happen, but it doesn't fit you and it doesn't fit the others as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know how it sounds like? Everybody is working for a person they, do, they don't want to work for, but they have to because of money. And everyone is arguing with each other because work is not really in the way that they want to have. But at the beginning, they don't want to work for that job. And, and they're also divided in themselves as well. At first, why are you doing this? You have to question that. And second, you have to question, why am I insisting on this? Why am I insisting on, you know, people are people supposed to do this and people supposed to do that? Now, three of pentacles in reverse, I have to tell you that it could be also about the people that you're working with might be the problem. I'm not shaking it off. I'm not saying that you are the problem and the people that who happens to be working with you are the greatest people on earth and you are causing problems and they were just fine people. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm trying to say here is that there is no alignment because no one is starting to do something with the right reasons. Everyone is acting on an agenda that didn't create it by themselves. You know, the things that are being made, the work that has been put, actually nobody wants it. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to be involved in that. If you're working in a job that nobody is really happy, mostly because nobody wants to be there at the first place. And I see a slight unluckiness in this side. Maybe you were unlucky until this point that your manifestation didn't happen. It talks about that too. But the time is going to make everything right. So if you have to just wait for something, give yourself a little time, ease your mind, have in harmony at the places that you are in at least as much as possible, if it is up to you, of course. And keep an open mind because it is going to solve itself in time. For argument's sake, if it is just like a love-related situation, maybe you're focusing on the wrong person. And I talked about it at the first reading, but I have to repeat myself again. Sometimes we focus on like specific person and we expect that person to make us happy, but we don't focus on why we want that from that person. Sometimes we have to focus on the happiness. Sometimes we have to focus on the alignment with the other people so we can have the choice. We sometimes just insist on an idea of like, I'm going to be happy with this person. But that person is not aligned with you. And it takes two for a tango. If you want that thing and if the other person doesn't want it, it is not going to happen. And there is no such thing like you can bend the other person's free will. If that person doesn't like you, that person doesn't like you. You have to focus on the situations that make you happy. You have to align your heart with the right things so you can have this manifestation faster. Why do you want that person at the first place? Is it because of love or is it because pride? Maybe. Now you have to just focus on the things from another kind of a perspective. You have to keep an open mind so you can actually have more choices. You have to have this harmony with the other people. You have to find a way to just talk to those people. And if you think that you are unlucky at this specific moment, maybe you should just wait for a second or two. That's what I saw for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Hello number three, how's it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look all the reversals because we are looking to the blockages. 
and I have seen similar messages at the first two reading and I wonder if I'm going to see the similar things with you as well. I put the other cards that I used except the significator card that I actually put like this because it has a meaning. That's why I wanted to use them again. So let's just see what it is talking about. The star. Something is not healed yet. A little bit more time. A little bit more time. Definitely. Maybe you feel like it's not going to happen. Maybe you just don't have this belief for yourself. Maybe you're just focusing on things and maybe you want things to happen. But deep down, because of anxiety or maybe other reasons, you expect them to not to happen. And so you can say, I told you so. I know it sounds so undermining and so wrong in every possible way me saying something like that maybe you just don't want it no that's not what i'm trying to say okay please just give me a little time to explain myself reversed star is talking about negativity if you're just being a little negative when it comes to your own thoughts and your own feelings even though you want something so much so much you might block yourself from getting it without your own wish, without your own will. Maybe right now you cannot see how it is going to happen. You have like a huge wish maybe. Maybe you would like to change a lot of stuff in your life. Maybe you are focusing a lot of different things and you want to see a lot of different things to happen in a way that you expect, but it is not really showing. You know, how it is going to happen? How it is going to happen when I'm living here? How it is going to happen when I'm not talking to people? How it is going to happen when I don't have the opportunity? Maybe, you know, something like that. But manifestation, the good part of the manifestation is it finds its way. You know, you don't have to see it. You don't have to see that it is going to happen. You don't have to just expect or wait it to happen. It happens. If it is going to happen, it happens. You know what? I see more hope in your reading more than the other two. The other two has a lot of things to do in their minds. But you, you should just like trust yourself and trust your luck a little. Believe in yourself, have some faith and you're good to go. So let's see what it could be about. Let's see what is the blockage. And so we can actually focus on what you can do to fix it or what you can try at least. You're like this close to your manifestation. That's what I see. It could happen in any time. There's not like a huge blockage. There's just like, I don't, I'm not really sure that if it is going to happen or how it is going to happen, but it is going to happen because star card, even in reverse, it talks about still hope. There's still hope and it is going to happen kind of an attitude. Knight of Swords in reverse. What is up with the Knights? Ah, a lot of Knights. Impatience, maybe. Unable, being unable to explain things to yourself first. Maybe you just have this feeling of negativity. It's like, if I see a Moon card, I'm going to be sure about it. But for argument's sake, there is not a Moon card. You don't even know, you don't even say that to yourself. Like, why you feel negative about it. Maybe you have this negative thought subconsciously and you're just blocking it with subconscious mind. You know what? I hate those people who are saying that you just have to ask to be happy or you just have to ask to be successful. If it is not happening, maybe you're just afraid of being successful. Like who the fuck would be afraid of being successful? What kind of a bullshit is that? No one in this world is afraid to be successful or to be seen because of their success and achievement. Crystal clear. And I will never be one of those people who are gonna say that maybe you just don't want to be successful. Honestly, I got really angry. Everybody in this world wants good things to happen to themselves, for their loved ones, for the goodness of the world. Everybody wants some level of success and achievement in their life and no one is afraid of being successful, okay? If success is not happening, it is not because that people are being afraid of being successful, okay? Why am I screaming? I'm not screaming at you. I'm just screaming at those people who are giving those kind of messages. Okay, I'm gonna keep it calm. You're not afraid of being successful. You're not afraid of being seen. 
You are not afraid of achievements in life. You are not afraid what is going to happen next. Subconsciously, you cannot see what is going to happen next. Subconsciously, you cannot predict or prepare yourself what might actually happen next. But if you find a way to understand your wish, give yourself a little time, just give yourself a little time and you're good to go. Because there's hope and there's like an actual movement. You just have to give yourself a little bit more time. You don't have like a huge blockage in your way. I didn't see a huge blockage in your way. The tower in reverse. It's been a hot minute I didn't see the tower in reverse. <laughs> and the five of wands in five of cups, I'm sorry, in reverse. Why did I call the five of wands? Because I was arguing in my mind, that's why. Tower in reverse. I was expecting moon, but tower showed itself. But still has the similar meaning. Hiding the truth, not talking about it, avoiding circumstances. Even though we don't want to have that kind of a feeling, even though we are not just like acting like we don't, we don't have the answers for something. Sometimes we just... Like there's a situation and you didn't analyze it quite well yet. And when you analyze it, when you just like focus on what might happen next, it is going to happen accordingly. The reason why you didn't analyze it yet because of the last disappointment that you had in your life. Now, it could be about love. It could be about work. It could be about anything, money, family, anything. For argument's sake, if it is about love and you want to be happy, you're not focusing on one person, but you you want to be happy. Maybe you want to get married. Maybe you want to have this long-term relationship. Maybe you just want short-term relationship. Who who knows? You didn't tell yourself that you want it again because of the disappointments that you had before. Maybe subconsciously you feel like it is going to happen in the same way. Maybe you feel like you were upset before and now whoever it is, it is going to make you upset again. If you don't have any kind of a past disappointments when it comes to love, and sometimes people never talk about it, maybe you don't have the disappointment of love, but it could be like there's a disappointment in life, something that didn't happen according to your wish maybe, and you just internalize it maybe, and now you expect that negativity to happen over and over again. A little bit of like anxious mind I can see, and impatience. I have really good news because those kind of disappointments are not going to happen. This tower is not going to happen. This five of cups is not going to happen next time. It's not going to make your heart bleed. It is not going to make you really, really upset. It is going to make you really happy if you give yourself a little time and if you consider what is going to happen next. You just simply need a little bit more time to focus on what you want so you can manifest it in a better way. I don't see any kind of a problem. I don't see any kind of a situation that is going to make you really, really upset. The only thing that is just like stopping you having this manifestation is that a little time and considering what might happen and being honest to yourself. That's what I saw for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I got a little angry. I'm sorry for that. My anger not was for you. I hope to see you in the next reading. If you liked it, share, comment, like, subscribe. I never say something like that. Why I don't say, hmm, maybe I should just consider that. Maybe, you know what? This is about me, honestly. Maybe I don't think that people are gonna subscribe, like, or share. But they will. Because I know they like me. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Go. Go away. Go now. <laughs>